quick before I start this video, I'd just like to say that you all should go subscribe to Bull Soul One Two Three. His name will be up above, um, and uh, his link will be in the description. Thank you for subbing to me. Um, everybody go sub to him because he is awesome. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Zeppelin here, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're in my redstone testing world, and I have for you a thing that I built. It's called a furnace combo lock, and I am not the best with compactness. Yeah. But I know how redstone works, so I can build things with it if I tried to. So basically how this works is you have to go in to your furnace and press on the top one here. And that's how you enter your combo. So the combo is this one, this one, this one. So if I press here, all these pistons go. And I press this one here. And press this one here. The door opens. And basic, I'm going to explain to you how this works. And once the door opens, you can press this to reset it. It closes everything. And um, if you press this, it's not going to do anything. So I haven't made this a so compact to the, I mean, so complicated to the point where if you get it wrong, it resets itself automatically. Because honestly, I could do that if I tried. All I have to do is hook it up to that. This one right here just turned everything off by using this reset system right here. But I'll kind of explain to you how this works. Basically, how this works is um. When the redstone, um, when the furnace is pressed, this comparator gets a, um, it turns off, and, ah, oh, jeez, auto jump, um, it powers, um, this piston, right, this block right here, buds this redstone, powers this piston, because this comparator is powering this redstone, it, um, sends out a pulse for each press, one that's pressed, it also presses a piston to, like, you press the piston to reset the comparator. And, um, so when one of them is pressed, like, it goes through this chain of repeaters and goes to right here, and it, um, gets powered, and only this one will power it. It will go through here, power this redstone torch tower, go over to here and power this piston. What this piston does is it turns on this it turns on this um t flip flop so that it knows if if it's right here it's wrong and if it's right here it's right and then when it's right it only powers this redstone it goes up here the redstone torch tower pushes this piston and this redstone block if all these repeaters are powered it sends a output through here over to open the door and what this is for is it tells the reset button. If if it's powered right here, if this torch is powered, it means that the combination is wrong. So if you press reset, it would just open the door again. But I made it so that you can only press reset when the door is open so that it closes itself. But if it was but if I had it the other way around, it would just open itself. So I kind of made that more secure just by adding this um piston right here and the reset it sends a power pulse up here, which um, powers this redstone, which activates all the T flip flops to go back into the position they were before. And it works, and it's the same for all three of these systems. Once the redstone goes through, it powers the door. And the door is just a simple um, Jeb door. It All it does is two, I mean, four pistons pushing it this way, and then two pistons right here getting pushed in on both sides to create a seamless door and I have it in glass so you can see everything that's going on so I'm just going to show it to you one more time so that you guys can see everything that happens if we press this button it sends the repeater pulse T flip flop activated it's different than the rest and if we come back here this one's powering the next repeater <coughs> then press this one you see the redstone repeater output. Um, you see 
the T flip flops activated, and now we just need to get this one correct. And if we press this, the redstone output should go and should send a redstone output through there and open up the door. And that is all. It um I will have the download link to this world in the description if you guys want to download the world and look at the rest of my redstone things that I have. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.